Alright. So we're going back, back in our lesson now. We're going, to the, we're going to look at the answer for the question. Alright. Our Venn diagram. Mute your mic for me, Julian. Don't. Alright, so the Venn diagram is this now. Right, so we have three sets. So I have to draw three circles. And they intersect. Somewhere along the line there. Extend the box a bit. All right, so here it is now. Now, in the CXA exam, they don't necessarily use three sets anymore. They only use two sets. But for this question, we are going to make the attempt to get it properly done. Now, first thing I'll do to make life easier is to put in the elements that only belongs to one particular set. So in set L, which element belongs to set N? Set L only. Chevelle, which element belongs to set L only? D. D. Okay, I heard D. Okay. We'll put in D. Jordan, which element belongs to set M only? Sure, no element that belongs to set M only. You sure. All right, that means then. If that is the case, if that is the case then, is there a problem? Is there a problem with this question? Somebody attempted, right? So A is in L and M, C is in L and M. But E is in all three sets, and G is in two other sets. So, all right, so this don't have anything by itself then, all right. All right, so I guess something is missing from the question, all right? It was missing from the question. All right, good, but very good observation though. All right, what belongs to N only then? What belongs to N only? F. What? F. F, okay. So that's F. All right. So question now. What belongs to both set L and N. L and N. B. B. Okay.
just B so they mean B and E. All right, what belongs to said L and M? Mm -hmm. A, A, C. A, C. All right. And E. And who? And E. And E. And E is already there. So we put A there. Also we put what? C. All right. All three of them is there. What about set N and M? G. G. Okay. All right, so that's it. That's it for that. Good. Now the list of members of set of the set represented by L intersect M union N. Children. Sir. It says list of members of the set represented by L intersect M union N. What's the first step you would carry out? I know which one. Um, what does L and M intersect? Ah, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. L and M. And that will be what? A, um, A, C, and E. A, C, and E. Good. All right. So therefore, now. When I put the union together now, what would you have? Um, B, G, and F. The union, what's the now? Union? Mm, remember, it's L intersect U. L intersect U and, and a union with N. Remember that's what we're looking for. L intersect M. That's what we're looking for. Is it B, G, and F? Couldn't be B, G, and F. You're forming a union. Julian? Sir? Mm, what's the union? B and G. Union is that B and G? Yeah, Come on, think, man. When you say union, what are you supposed to be doing? Them. No, union, what union mean again? You tell me now. What union mean? Sir, combine. Combine, good. So, so, so when you combine the elements that intersect L and M with N, what you, what you end up with? Hmm? Three. No, 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 yeah. eh, eh. no, no, you're not, it means you're not using eyes, you're not using eyes, you're not using eyes at all. All right, Chevelle, help her out. Yes, I'm Chevelle. No, you mean not Chevelle, I'm going to ask you too. Chevelle, get it right, I'm going to ask you. Come, Chevelle, help her out, please. Sir, the answer is A, B. A is what? 
A B. Yeah. C. Mhm. E. Mhm. F. Mhm. And G. Good. Okay, what did she do, um, Julian? So she combined them. She combined them together. Then that that me ask you to combine them. But you tell me B, G, and F. What you were supposed to tell me is that I use A, C, and E and then add B, G, and F to it. That's what you wanted to say now. But you never say it. You follow? All right, the third part of the answer now, the question now, easy thing that. If you get the second part, you must get the third part. That's what I try to tell you. What's the answer for, the, for that one? Show to you again. Good. You again. Sir, um, one minute. Mm -hmm. Answer the right in front of you. Sir, um, D. No, man, look, read question. Read question. What, what, what do you say, must find? And the value of number of elements in. L intersect M union oh, N. Something is not right, sorry. Complement. Complement, yes. How does answer be now? Let answer be. Come think. Hold on, did it ask you to list elements or did it ask you to write down? Uh, four. Four, or oh, you get four? Seven. What do you mean you know? Use your eyes. Use your eyes, Shudian. All you're doing is using your eyes. Look look at the information given and use your eyes. That is all. Sir, you know what? Then I'm going to take that card here, please. Okay. Hello, you reach? Uh, Chevel, what answer you to get, Chevel? One. How much you get? One. How much? One. Okay, okay. I'm sure they know how to use their eyes now. Your I'm eyes, trying to leave it. Your eyes are lazy, you know, children. You know that? You must use your eyes before you use your brain. All right, Julian? So my brain is easy to get this stuff. That's what I'm saying. Use your eyes before you use your brain. You have to try that technique there. Use your eyes first. Because, all right, if you thought about it, if you look at this set. So I thought about it already. I'm done to the one already. Then why never tell me to say one? The one. But me, let me take and say D. Okay. So whatever you see, write it down, then you tell me. Make sense? Okay. Let's work with a strategy. We have to have a strategy, right? All right. So that's correct. Very good. So let's move on from here. 
Go over here, so we did study. Go on over here to watch it. Pull you down. All right. Let us see where we go from here. All right, Julian. Oh, gosh. Yes, man. Oh, gosh. Eyes. <laughs> 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 Could, yes, you, could you tell me what you see? I want to use your eyes now. Use your eyes. Your eyes more I use now. So take mm -hmm. the diagram and tell me what you see. Okay. I see F intersect T. Uh -huh. uh, C is a subset of F. Good. And? And um, so I don't know if it's going to add a part. I'm going to ask the expert to tell me what you see in your own words. Tell me what you see. Oh, um, sorry, no, 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 so I'm just telling my sister. Yeah, and that's good. So, I never tell you if you said terminus, tell me what you see in your own words. If it's one yellow paint, it's one yellow paint. Black paint, it's black paint. Tell me what you see. Okay. One minute, sir. One minute. Okay. Show them. Show them. I had you tell me what you see, you know. All right, why well, children say one minute? Shevel, tell me what you say are different from what children say. So, the complement of F and C is eight. Good, the complement of F and C is eight. Very good. Very good. All right. She she has searched for the word compliment, you know. But uh, Julian was to tell me, say, sir, it it is outside. It is not a, eight members are not a part of set F, T, e, and T. You couldn't tell me that way too. Right, Julian? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, if you tell me, tell me what you see. You tell me what you see. Not not trying with a fancy word yet. Just tell me what you see. Question now. How many elements intersect? How many elements then? Are how many members are a boat of the football club and tennis club? Seven. Seven. How many, how many, how many elements are in both the football club and the cricket club? One. 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 So your eyes, your eyes, your eyes are work there. All right. Read the rest of the question now for me, please, Julia. The Venn diagram above represents information about 40 members of a youth club. F equal members who play football. C equal members who play cricket. T equal members who play tennis. Okay. Now, continue. The same number X who play football only and tennis only. All right. So where where the diagram should that X be placed? In the middle. In the middle. Yeah, the football only and tennis only. No, sir. Um. Same number X. X. Place in a football and T and X and in a T. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, so the same number X who play football only and tennis only. In other words, I'm saying to you, the same number of persons who play football only also plays tennis only. That's what that is telling you, right? Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, sir. Alright, so therefore, we must put. The letter X 
Mm -hmm. only as well as in football only right yes sir right. so that diagram should be drawn completed right now they're asking you to calculate the number who play football <laughs> Calculate the number who plays football. Show the answer. Yes, sir. How do you calculate the number of first the number of members who play football? Minus um seven from forty. Why why do why would you minus seven from forty? Why would you do that? Hmm? Why would you minus seven from forty? All right, let's give Chevel a chance. Chevel, will you explain to her how you got your answer? Stop. Stop. Come again. You hear that? First, you need to find the value of x. First, you have to find the value of x. You hear that, John? Julian? Why would you need to find the value of x for Chevel? The other, the one. Plus the seven. Plus the two x. One plus the seven plus the two x plus what? The eight, sir. The one, the two, and the eight. Plus the three. All right, good. So hold on. First, you have to do. Hold on. Sure, you'll be listening. You have to add up everything, you know. Remember that this 40 here. Remember the 40 represent the total members of the youth club. That means then one plus x plus x plus seven plus eight must equal to 40. So we're going to simplify them by adding what we call the like terms. So the like terms will be the whole numbers here, 7, 1, and 8. So 1 plus 7 plus 8, and the other like terms are x plus x again, equal to 40. All right, we'll be paying attention to that. We have 16 plus 2x is equal to 40. All right? Now, we'll start with the algebra right here. I agree. Now, to find 2x, you want to subtract 16 from 40, which will leave us a 2x. So, 16 from 40, Chud, how much is that? How much is that, Judy? Sir, um, 24. 24. Okay. So 2x then is equal to 24. If you feel comfortable writing that 2x equal to 24, could do that. Now, 2x means 2 times x. So therefore, to find what number when multiplied by 2, we have to divide that 24 by 2. And our answer is equal to 12. Right? So when we do algebra, 
I'm going to start algebra rather. You should have any issues with these type of questions. Alright? Yeah. Let's continue. Alright. Let's proceed. Part 2 now. State the information represented by the shaded region of the Venn diagram. Well, was it shaded? Um, well, don't they all shade it. I leave the part alone. Leave the part alone. Right, let's look at part, part three. State the relationship between the members of C and F. Our children, mute your mic, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. State the relationship okay. between. Yeah, go ahead, Chevelle, and I hear you. Um, the first part of the question, they haven't finished as yet, in a, sir. Because they haven't answered the question as yet. We, all, we only um, do the first part of solving X. So now we need to add the X. Oh, yet. sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we have not calculated the number of friends who plays football. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, 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 thanks. Can you imagine persons who are, who are viewing the recorded session? I go wonder what the teacher did I do. Thank you very much, Shavel. All right, so since we have found the value of x now, truly. So we can add 1 plus the value of x, which is 12, plus 7, and now we'll get the answer. So the number of persons in Football is therefore equal to what now? That's 20. Thank you very much, Chevelle. Good, very good observation. All right. Good. All right. Now for part three now. What's the relationship between C and F? Somebody said that before. Show that you want to give the answer. I think you told us before. CNF. Show the answer. All right. Shevel, or you can unmute the mic so we can know. Okay, Julian, what's the answer? CNF. To the subset of F. Good. Subset. That's the answer. Subset. What about C and T? Can you give me the answer for them? So may I ask them? C and T. What type of set is C and T? I'm waiting for the answer, man. What's the answer for C and T? Sir, so just giant. Ah, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. So, like you're on school challenge, please, a while ago. Very good. All right. All right, so both of you kind of struggled on this one a bit. That's for the, especially part one of the question. All right. Who, who's turn to read now? Who's turn to read now? All right, let me see now. So then read now. Chevelle, your turn to read. Three hundred three hundred customers visited a bakery that sells bread and cake. Seventy customers bought cake. Eighty customers bought neither bread nor cake. Two X customers bought bread only. X customers bought both bread and cake. 
Okay. All right. So once again, let's familiarize, familiarize ourselves with the information given to use. What does the 300 represent, Chudian? Three hundred represent the total number of customers. Good. Total number of the customers. All right. Or you could say when you when you perform the union of cakes and bread, that will be the total number. Good. All right. So if we're using set language, and this is how to do it. Set language. Let's put the number of elements, the set of cakes, union, bread. It's two sets, right? It equals the 200. All right. Now, Chevelle, what are the 70 represents? Set language more here now from you. 70 represents what's in set language. Do set language and tell me. 70 represents uh, the elements uh, of uh, cakes only. Yes, yeah, so, so um, what, what about the set language now? Pardon? What about the set language? It tells us that 70 customers bought cakes only. So, yes. We're using set language now. What, what could we use? What could we say? How could we describe it? Number of elements in C equals 70. Number of elements in what? In C uh, equals 70. No, you can't say that. Because it's 70 only doesn't mean that it's 70 alone. You remember, say some of them buy bread as well. So you cannot say, you cannot put it that way. Eh? It'd be minus X. What would it be? 70 minus X. No, not even that. Because it's a 70 customers bought cakes only, so it couldn't be 70 minus X. 70 is not the total number of customers who bought cakes. It's only all the cakes only. You can't answer that either. Okay. Try again, Chudian. Yes, sir. Can you try and can you try and tell us in um, sets language? What do you mean by seventy customers bought cakes only? So, I would say number of elements in C equal um, I don't know the same thing as that's what I said. That's what I had in mind. I don't know what it is. All right, let me, let me, let me assist you guys now. Ready? We have to reason this thing on, right? Watch this now. And all right, while while the clock is counting down, I oh, yeah, bear in mind that in mathematics you have to do a lot of thinking, a lot of reasoning. It's a crucial thing. Right? You have to reason out things and spend time to reason. Now, if it is saying seven cakes only, it meant that that among that 70 did not buy bread. So if they did not buy bread, it makes them a complement of the number of customers, or a set of customers who bought bread. Make sense? Who bought bread? And you could put that union with 
bread none at all. So we could put it as put it, put it this way. Put in a bracket here. Um C Union B component. Put it that way. Right? Good. And therefore the answer will be 70. So C Union B complement would have been those who did not buy neither bread nor cake. So obviously they would not have been a part of the cake set. And of course, the persons who bought bread, they and those 70 did not buy bread either. So you'd put them in the, the, the complement of bread as well. Good set of friends who bought bread. All right. So you have, to, you have to break it down. Break it down. Good. Break it down. All right. Now, the 80, what does the 80 represent? Chevel, you again. Uh, on, on a recent, that's a for recent. Chevel. Chevel, Japan. All right, Julia, I'm seeing Chevel. Julia. Yes, sir. No, that's fine. You don't want this, you don't want to give it a part for it. If the customers bought neither bread nor cakes, or describe it using set language. Number of customers. <laughs> Number of? Number of customers. Uh, B. Intersect Q. Hold on, look, look, look. Sorry. Here's the customers bought neither bread nor cakes. Bought neither bread nor cakes. The number of um 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 customer. B interest B union Q B union Q the Q no I don't know me no me no say it's an empty set but I don't know how to say no I don't want empty set uh, by the way what are the two sets of customers there by the way I don't know get Q into it what are I the two say Q I see him if you say okay good okay Shabby <laughs> get, get, get Give it a chance again, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you sit I down? Don't, 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 I'm not hearing you. I don't know what was the question because it was giving trouble. 